Albert Camus accepts that all our lives are absurd in the grander scheme. He argues that we have to live with the knowledge that our efforts will be largely futile, our lives soon forgotten, and our species irredeemably corrupt and violent, and yet we should endure nevertheless. We are like Sisyphus, the Greek figure ordained by the gods to roll a boulder up a mountain and to watch it fall back down again in perpetuity. This is the greatest aspect of life, that it has no meaning to it, and there is no need for it to have a meaning. Because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. It's not important, okay? You're not important. Get used to it. Obstructed a telephone call to the President of the United States? Can you imagine? Shoot it off! Shoot with a gun! That's what the bullets are for, you twit! Okay. I'm gonna get your money for you. But if you don't get the President of the United States on that phone, you know what's gonna happen to you? What? You're gonna have to answer to the Coca Cola Company. for them to have built such a thing? Mr. President, the technology required is easily within the means of even the smallest nuclear power. It requires only the will to do so. But how is it possible for this thing to be triggered automatically and at the same time impossible to untrigger? Mr. President, it is not only possible. It is essential. Caesar. If it's not done by sunrise, I'll cut your balls off. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hell, Caesar, and everything, sir. Okay, but you're not listening to me. There are other things that need to be taken into account here, like the whole spectrum of human emotion. You can't just lump everything into these two categories and then just deny everything else. Mr. President, you're gonna let that lousy commie punk vomit all over us like this? Mr. President, we haven't been able to reach Premier Kissoff and the Kremlin. They say they don't know where he is and won't be back for another two hours. Try B8654-3, Moscow. Yes, sir. You would never have found him through his office, Mr. President. Our Premier is a man of the people, but he is also a man, if you follow my meaning. <laughs> Praise unto you, Brian, and to the Lord our Father. Amen. Amen. 
It's your time. What? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, I think you're fucking antichrist. I could spend my whole life debating it over and over again, weighing the pros and cons, and in the end, I still wouldn't have any proof, so I just, I just don't debate it anymore. <laughs> it's absurd.